what do you do in that first period of time when they're just like, it's gotta be a nasty fall, a nasty state of depression or anxiety yeah, or insecurity. Yeah. Like that's gotta be the place that they need you the most. Yeah, well, that's a flat line. Um, I mean, it is it is an actual you know term in, in, in the reboot recovery space. So yeah, what you're speaking to typically happens uh, once you're you know once you commit clean and you go three weeks probably around that three week because when you join a program like the first couple of weeks like you're excited so adrenaline is going to run you through the first yeah. couple of weeks so what we see is week three to six is when it gets really difficult for the men this is where you need community right yeah. you need to have regular conversations you need to know that when i'm struggling with something is there somebody that i could reach out to just to have a conversation with because a lot yeah. of times just opening up and discussing what you're going through is enough of that healing that you need in the moments, um, yeah. and then allowing us to, to 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 work through it over the next you know ten or so weeks. But we we give them support, we give them community. There's real time practical tools. So there's some breathing stuff. We, we actually hired Zach to come in and build a, a section within our program with the Tai Chi meditation, the Wim Hof breathing stuff. So nice. real tools like when you're yeah. struggling, like physically, yeah. like really lean good. into the program and use the tools that we're that we're giving to you. Um, you know. And then, at, I mean, it's, it's it's not the sexy answer, right? But at the end of the day, it's like, if it is difficult, like you got to suck it up because you created this problem for yourself. Yeah. Um, and if you use that, it's difficult to get out of it as the excuse to never getting out of it, then you're playing a victim to totally. your, your yeah. addiction. So uh, yeah, I want to give you tools. I want to give you community. But at the end of the day, like you created this problem for yourself, suck it up and work through it a little bit. Suck it up, buttercup. Okay. I like that. Well, it's true though. That's called like radical self, like responsibility. Yeah. Not but like I, I created this and I will create something new and I got this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and it. then what you realize is like when you just sit in that discomfort for like a, a short window of time, yes. like it goes away, but then you get this like revelation, like Frank, dude, like you've been running from this feeling to go chase pornography. When you sit in it, what you learn about yourself, what comes to the surface about who you are and who you can be and what you should be doing is yeah. so empowering. So yeah. a lot of times that first, second time they do that and they just sit and work through it, which is actually in our program. So we, we get them ahead of that. So we actually put them through a 48 hour fast in week two to kind of almost create that suffering without having to go through the flatline period. Because what I'm gonna tell you is when you go two days without food, if it's your yeah. first time, you will get hungry. Like not to the point you wanna like ravishly chew your arm off, but there will be elements of discomfort. There will be elements of like, I don't, yeah. I, I, I need to go eat. But when you sit in it for a little bit and you're like, ah, this is just a signal for my brain. You realize like, dude, I'm so much stronger than I ever really thought I oh, was. Yeah. So that's one tool we actually give them in our program that I that's think helps them in that flatline period.